Hello, my name is Richard Taylor. I'm Vice President of Florida Green Homes. What I'd like to do today is take you through one of our uh, luxury series homes and show you some of our construction technologies. At Florida Green Homes, we build three series of homes. Uh, we build a luxury series, a Floridian series, and smart series. One of the things that is common with all three of these series is that we use the exact same construction methods in all three series. And one of the things that we do is ICF construction. We use an insulated concrete foam. What this has is it ties into our footers. Coming up out of our footers, we have steel that pops up every two feet all the way around the perimeter of the house that goes all the way up and ties into the top of the lintel. Also, every horizontal block at every 16 inches, there's another piece of rebar that goes all the way around the house and it's all tied in. And then our walls are poured solid concrete, 3,000 PSI on the exterior. What this gives us is a solid concrete wall that has been engineered to over 200 miles an hour. It also gives us an R value that far exceeds the building industry. We're just a little bit under R30 for our R value because this foam stays in place. We've got two and a half inches of foam on one side and two and a half inches of foam on the other. Again, giving us a nice insulated house that also gives us soundproof walls and it stops bacteria and dust and it's just a far superior product than what your standard concrete block or wood frame construction is. One of the benefits of this block also is every eight inches all the way around the exterior and the interior, there is a strip inside of this foam so that you can fasten things to. That is why we can fasten our drywall directly to the block. What this does, it gives us a couple benefits. First of all, there's not that three quarters of an inch gap that everybody else has in the industry. So what that does, one thing is there's no drafts, so we don't have to worry about fire. There's nowhere for air to feed the fire. The other thing is there's nowhere for dust to collect. There's nowhere for insects to collect. Uh, another thing that just separates us from the rest of the industry. Now on the exterior of the homes, uh, again, the strip that comes in every eight inches that's all the way around on the outside just like it is on the inside means that you can attach any kind of exterior siding that you want to do to this. It's great for stone, it's great for brick or anything like that. The way we, we choose to finish most of our exteriors is with stucco. Now again, we use a four coat system. We put a scratch coat on, then we put another scratch coat on, and in that second scratch coat we put a fiber mesh in it and then we put another scratch coat over top of that and then we put our finish coat right over that. So what we've got is four coats. Standard in the industry over block homes or wood frame is typically two coats. What this does is gives us a much stronger exterior. One of the things that we also do standard in all of our homes is we use an isonine product which actually goes up into the un and uh, is applied to the underneath of the plywood. What this does is first of all it gives us an attic that is almost like conditioned space. When you stick your head up in this attic in the summertime, it's five to six degrees warmer than the inside of your house. What we're doing is we're keeping the heat out and keeping the cool in. With our construction methods, especially with the strength part of it, as you can see, this is some pictures that were taken after Hurricane Katrina. As you can see, you know, this is a whole area that was completely devastated. And as you can see, the one house that is standing is an ICF house. And, you know, the pictures speak a thousand words. As you can see, the house was not, you know, it was definitely exposed. It wasn't concealed, but uh, the house is still there. Okay, what we have here is a couple pictures of, first, the first one is a picture of a neighborhood where an F4 tornado went through and devastated the whole neighborhood. But you see one house standing there, and that house was constructed with ICF walls. Another picture down here is in the San Diego area where a fire went through a neighborhood and again, you can see the devastation with the exception of three homes that were built with the ICF walls. Again, the reason why we're showing this is to let you know that every one of our houses are constructed the exact same way. Right, what we have here is a graph that shows you what your energy savings can be over the course of the life of your home. Uh, this is based on the fact that the modern technologies that we're using with our AC systems, with our ICF walls, with our isonine insulation, the savings between that, insurance, and other things that you can save over the course of the life of your home. In the building industry, it's easy to say that you're a green home builder. But here at Florida Green Homes, we certify all of our homes through these six different agencies. Now, when you're going to comparing that, compare that with the other builders and see how many of them are actually certifying. I mean, like I said, it's easy to say you're a green builder, but uh, we show you right there in black and white. And also, our homes are coming out anywhere between a gold and platinum range. One of the agencies that we certify through is the EPA. It's an indoor quality assessment, 
And what this again, it gives you a healthy environment to live in. And again, we certify that. So when you're finally in the market for a brand new home, you need to consider these things. First of all, are you looking for a green home? Is it going to be a certified green home? And is it going to be healthy for your family to live in? And is it also going to be a safe environment for your family to live in? And when you're doing that, you need to compare that with your other builders. And when you make those comparisons to what's standard in a Florida green home as opposed to what's not standard in other builders, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the difference in cost. I would like to thank you for uh, visiting our model center with us and listening to us as we go through some of our construction methods. And if you get a chance, stop by and see us. Thank you.